also noticed along the main. And another thing, uh, look how ratty this main has become. See how the weight or the core wool gets involved in it. So what I'll probably do is redo part of that main and then trim it off like this so it becomes kind of sharp looking. And then you can see this lighter color tan, which I'll probably use the uh, Cafe Latte to have some of those coming up. Not as much as that will be here forever. So what was I gonna do? I was gonna show you again. I'm gonna make this a little lighter this time as it gets to the top of the neck. probably just about enough. I'm going to put that right up here, right along the main. Just keep this out of the way. And we'll just continue this process all the way down to the bottom. And I'll make another video showing you the whole thing. And uh, then after that, I'll get it on the plaque, at which time I will add the eyelashes. I'll show you that too. Well, actually, <laughs> I have my uh, miniaturist do it. He's very good with small things. So, my hands can't really do small, small things for some reason. Either I don't have the patience or my fingers are too fat. <laughs> His fingers are bigger than mine. So, I don't know. Some people just can do the miniature. So, we'll continue this down. And uh, I'll show you on uh, the next video. Thanks for watching. If you, uh, you know, like what I'm doing, subscribe. I have 712 subscribers. It's a big milestone to get to 1,000. I remember when I first started, I had two. And that was what? I started June 21st, 2020. This plaque, I don't think it's going to work. Look. He's too wiggly woggly. I got, what, how many holes did it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> oh. Look. Oh, now I can't get him out. Come on. Look at that. One, two, three holes. But, you know, if that's on a plaque hanging on a wall, that's never going to work. So what am I going to do? I'm going to have to shove some uh, reinforcements in there. But he's looking pretty, pretty darn good. Uh -huh. So I had a little editing to do. Uh, you saw the neck flop around. So I got uh, the 16 gauge wire. That's what I think this is. 16 gauge, two pound, and it's what, 16 inches long. And what I did is I shoved, I bent it and shoved it down through his mouth, 
and into his neck. And then I added another wire up his, the back of his neck, twisted the two together, and now he's not so bum ba bum you know, flopping around. But all that shoving, it kind of messed up my needle felting. So I'm gonna have to, you know, neaten that back up. But as you can see, you know, I'm mounted on the wall, he's gonna look pretty good. And then I've got this side to do as well. Now, I haven't snipped this wire off yet because maybe I will put a tongue in there. His tongue is uh, prehensile, can hold things. They have the strongest tongue of all animals and it's 18 inches long. So we're almost finished with the giraffe. Thanks for watching.